Happy New Year and a peaceful and prosperous 2024 to each of you. And welcome to Gospel Greetings, practical encouragement for living out your faith in the marketplace. This week, we start a new series called Signs of the Times. Last week, we did reverence from Isaiah 9. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. In the verse, we see the humble child, Jesus, born at Christmas to be called the King of Kings who will rule the universe for eternity. This week, we start the sign of the times with the State of the Union from Matthew 24, 6 to 8, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you're not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. 2023 was undoubtedly a very strange year. From a green Christmas, forest fires, floods, droughts, wars, continued annoyances of lingering COVID, to redefinition of what gender is, the list goes on and on. It seems that Christians don't know what to do. We could call it the year of confusion. Well-known researcher George Barna has been surveying the spiritual condition of the church in North America for almost 40 years. He says that any true follower, follower of Christ with the indwelling Holy Spirit helping them can discern that the professed Bible-believing church in North America has drifted. So it makes perfect sense why Barna finds that only 2% of professed Christian parents have a biblical worldview. 2%. And just one half of self-described Christian parents accept the Bible as the true and authoritative word of God. One half. Or that one out of every four Christians do not bother to go to church, worship, or even thank God during a typical week. This is kind of a death spiral for the church and families and for even our society. No wonder there's so much confusion over gender, sexual issues, roles, marriage, and yet Christ continues. He promises to build his church. Now, they may, this may not necessarily be the visible brick and mortar church, but the invisible remnant of true believers. Barna was on a radio program recently to discuss his most recent studies. He said that the one thing that every survey that he'd done had in common is that if the people had a biblical worldview, few of the problems he was researching would have existed. He now believes that most issues we Christians face can be resolved with a biblical worldview. And so if we can grow a biblical worldview more consistently, we will have the tools to solve the problems that are all around us because God will help us to thrive. But in order to do that, the decisions we make, they really have to reflect his truth, his commands, and his way of living. So Bar Barna exhorts each of us to examine ourselves and to repent and to be revived by his word. Let's pray. Dear Father, forgive us for not knowing you, your word, or your ways. Give us clarity and a biblical worldview. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy New Year.